pretty much everybody all over the United States where uh, since uh, CBD has been legalized or um, if it has been legalized in your nation or your uh, your state um, you could potentially uh, fight the charge if uh, if they don't like test the cannabis to prove that it's a uh, you know THC and not CBD uh, in Tennessee uh, CBD is legal um, and they can have a little bit of uh, uh, what uh, THC in it about uh, 0.03 percent um, but since they don't test misdemeanor charges it's hard it you, you can you pretty much cannot prove that it has THC in it so this woman who uh, by the name of Melody uh, got pulled over with some cannabis in Tennessee and she decided to fight the uh, the charges and the court had to dismiss, dismiss it since they didn't test the cannabis so they couldn't prove that it was THC and not CBD so if you're in can if you're in Tennessee and you have small amounts of uh, cannabis on you uh, 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 the amount uh, that would be considered a misdemeanor this uh, lady had uh, you know enough for like a few joints less than a gram um, or about a gram or so a little under a gram depending on the size of your joints and people like them small uh, so after she won this uh, she ended up winning so this creates a precedent for uh, okay right here the t uh, Tennessee Bureau of Investigators does not test misdemeanor cases less than a half ounce of cannabis so if you have less than a half ounce then you're not going to be tested and then you can easily f fight the charges using the uh, Operation Candy Crush uh, court case as a as a previous uh, precedent uh, since they could not prove that the gummies uh, had any psychoactive levels of THC so this means uh, 